Birds of wisdom. <laughs> be the be the camera person, not the not the runner. Hi guys, I'm coming into uh, the office here. I'm going to meet Tegan and she's going to tell us a little bit about uh, our dog slaying adventure that we have to look forward to. Welcome Scott to Halliburton Forest. Are you ready for your full day dog sledding adventure? We sure are. <laughs> We're super excited to have you both here with us. Um, our guides are super stoked to go out. We've got a ton of snow overnight um, and they're ready to get you out on the trails, have a beautiful trail side lunch uh, and then head back. So Halliburton Forest is a 100,000 acre property. Uh, we have over 400 kilometers of trails, over 100 lakes, 400 wetlands. Uh, the easiest way to kind of describe it to people is that it's like a provincial park but we're privately owned um, so anything you can kind of do at a park you can do here but then we have the added adventure so dog sledding snowmobiling in the winter the wolf center um, and then in the summer we have camping hiking biking um, canopy tour uh, the wolf center is still open so there's so much stuff to do here and you're only getting to do one of those adventures mm -hmm. today 15, 20 minutes before the tour, they're gonna to start bringing dogs up. Uh, so you're gonna go over, you're gonna to get to watch all that excitement, see the dogs getting ready, kind of like dogs with jobs, right? So they're they're like lazing around and everything, but then the moment you get that harness on, they're just like, yeah, we're going to work. Um, so it's a lot of fun. Um, we bring them out. Um, sometimes people help us with that part of it, but then we launch and we get out on the trails. So at first it's gonna be chaos because we're talking probably 30 dogs going out on your tour. It's going to be noisy. They're going to be excited. But as soon as they start running, it gets quiet. And that's when, you know, you're just blown away by the beauty around you. Cheers. Exercise on dog sledding.
there was no snow and now it's coming down there's a big blizzard expected so we're just uh, making our way we're almost at the cabin for a break So me and my wife are out in a dog sledding adventure and we are basically in a wooden cabin with a wood stove warming up because we're halfway through our day and we thought we'd take this moment to go over some of the things that I'd like to share with you about dog sledding here. And I'm going to have these lovely ladies introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm Yes. <laughs> and these girls are our guides for the day. And we're on a full day guided um, tour through a beautiful Halliburton forest and uh, with some amazing hus husky dogs and I just wanted the girls to tell us a little bit about what we're doing. What would you need to know? It's hard work, as I'm sure you <laughs> it can is, attest that's to. that's deceiving, yeah, yes. that's right. There is no just sitting down <laughs> and thinking that you're just going to go for a cruise. No, I, I've got a lot of exercise, which is good. Yeah. I needed it. I feel like it's mostly about being willing to work hard and to dress warm. And if yeah. you're eager, then that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, because somebody who just really wanted to do this and hadn't had any experience, they don't need to be intimidated by it, right? Like, Right. No, and we have variations on our tours, right? right. So we have an introductory tour, mm -hmm. we have a half day tour, and you guys are doing the full day, right. which I would say is a little bit more challenging, of course, but an introductory tour is, what would you say? You're only out actually on the sleds for 45 minutes, yeah. oh, really? 45 yes. minutes, right? Oh, okay. So you can do that, try it out, see how you feel about it, and then bump up to a half day if that's what you like the full day is sort of the like the full experience right right mm -hmm. and it is it's been it's it's really nice when they told us that we were stopping off the cabin <laughs> <laughs> i thought we were just having lunch along the trail but so we're in this beautiful little uh cabin with a wood stove here and there's a lot of snowmobile trails so people stop in here and this is kind of a um what's uh, the term for it they were describing a shelter, it as a shelter, shelter cabin, cabin. Shelter yeah. Cabin. So they call them shelter cabin. So you could pop in here and see a bunch of snowmobilers warming up or that sort of thing. Wood stove, people cooking their lunch over the wood stove. And tell us about the dogs, because the dogs are beautiful. We've got oh. about 110 Siberian Huskies at the kennel. Um, essentially purebred, purebred. We can't classify them that way, obviously. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have Siberian Huskies that are 
purely bred for this activity, right? They have that dual layer coat that we were talking about yes, earlier, yeah, right? We These dogs can work in temperatures up to like negative 50 and they're still yeah. working hard. They're running. There's no need to be concerned about their safety. They're designed for this. Right. Um, their paws have that partial webbing that allows them to run on the snow and be comfortable and they don't get all those snowballs all caught up inside them. Um, as I'm sure you've noticed as well while we've been out there, it's been a long run and it's been cold, but they are like still eager to go. They love it. Absolutely. I mean, I don't think it's a thing anymore, but if people People are concerned about the humane part of dog sledding and that sort of thing. I mean, I can rest assured. I have two uh, active dogs. Uh, my wife and I have Vishlas. If you've watched the videos, you know. And I know when dogs need to run. Our dogs, um, if, if it's uh, the bad weather or we're working and they don't get for a run for a couple of days, they get out there and they just sprint when we get into the, They need to run. And, and Huskies are the same way. It's, it's so obvious. And being a dog owner with a high energy dog, I can see it in them. It's, exactly. it's, very, right. it's very obvious. And they're happy. Like our, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how my dog. <laughs> my dogs run with a smile on their face and you can just tell it's really obvious yeah exactly <laughs> so thanks for watching if you haven't uh, already done so and you like this uh, video please subscribe for more and uh, hit that thumbs up button i really appreciate it we're going to pack up our stuff and we're going to hit the sleds and we're going to be back out there and the girls um really they do a ton of work on these these tours <laughs> i can't thank them enough because me and my wife are really now we're busy making this video for you guys to enjoy but uh, behind the scenes, there's a ton of work going on with these dogs and everything else. So we really appreciate all the help that we've uh, we've got from the girls. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for right. coming. Hey guys, we just finished our lunch break. We're back on the trails. The snow's coming down even more, even more than it was earlier, which makes for a really scenic view of the forest. Me and Dina are on a double sled. <laughs> so she's up front, and I'm up back, and uh, it's working out better, especially for the video. They um, they've offered us to go on a single sled each, but um, the double sled's just as much fun. And uh, this way, I can kind of record some video as we go. I took my ski goggles off for this, but I don't know if that's a good idea.
that's good, that's good. Our adventure has come to an end. We're at the kennel. We're going to unhitch the dogs, and they've invited me and Dee in to take a look at the kennel and meet all the dogs um, and out of the snow because we've been dealing with snow non stop. Is that what you said? No, it's just that poopy bum. Oh. So, what do you guys do for that? Um, honestly, they'll mostly clean it themselves. Yeah. If for some reason it was like really bad, like we would wash it. Yeah. Go ahead and I've been chosen. Get out of my way. <laughs> yeah, they're not running off now, eh? <clears throat> okay, so we're going to get a tour of the kennels now. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, welcome to the Halliburton Forest Dog Kennel. We have about 110 huskies here. Uh, so I was saying we have all our girls on one side of the kennel and all our boys on the other, except for a few exceptions to that rule. Uh, the division is about 60, 40 guys to girls. So we got a little bit more guys, a little bit less girls, just the way it worked out. Um, and when we go in today, there's going to be a few rules. Okay. So one of them being, don't let the dogs jump up on you. If they jump up, please push them down and say no. We work really hard to train them sure. to be well behaved. Um, the other is that you shouldn't have any food or anything in your pockets at any time. Okay. Nothing dangling because we don't want them chewing on anything or ruining any of your nice gear. All right. And uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, maybe watch your step. Okay. Yeah, we got some landmines. Can there be there. any poo left? A little, bit, a little bit of poo. <laughs> um, yeah, and of course, All like right. with uh, like with any dog, sure. give them their space if they ask for it. So if they're kind of wandering around away from you, just let them hang out as they are. There's going to be a lot of dogs that want your attention that are kind of come up to you. So give affection to the ones that want it. Leave the ones that are taking space. We're going to go visit the girls today, not because the boys are aggressive, only because they will pee on you. Um, if they don't know you, so All we're right. just gonna head in and see the girls instead. I'm fine with the girls. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's great. Let's go check them out. Awesome. All right. So this is snow here. Yeah. You're gonna be a good running dog. Yes, I think so. I think you're gonna be a good running dog. Yes. <laughs> this one? Yeah. She's five months. Yeah, she's only little. <laughs> so <laughs> we're in the kennel. Hello. 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 That's the rest of us who work here. Uh, we all know that. Hello. How you doing, huh? What's your name? Huh? What's your name?
So this is the sled we were on today. D was up front, I was in the back. Those metal bars are the brakes that you just step on. And we had our camera case up front. If this is last of the video... We got another in the back. Alright, cheers. <laughs>